Welcome back amigos. I am so glad that you have joined me because I have an item that I wanted to share with all of you because I am actually loving it. Plus it just reminded me of some other wonderful um, souvenirs that I picked up at this beautiful island destination and it just runs into the theme of this lovely new handbag that I actually picked up. If you are new here, welcome, bienvenidos. I am Laura, Latino Army wife here in the great state of Texas, and I love to share um, where I can find some really great deals on items that are luxury, non-luxury, but of course, military discounts for those of you that might be eligible. So please consider subscribing to the channel. There's a lot of other YouTubers out here that have been doing a lot of videos on this very popular woman-owned um, company that was started back in 2016 I believe and it's just a very great carefree tote so I mean it was the handbag that I was inspired and influenced to purchase because of just so many wonderful content creators um, speaking highly about this bag and this brand was the Nagetti St. Bart's mini tote in the color Bermuda wait for it Look at how beautiful and special this color combo is. You have a beautiful ombre print, which is gorgeous blue ocean water. And then it lightens up as the water is coming on shore to then kiss the beautiful pink sands of the beautiful island destination of Bermuda. And I think Nagetti got it spot on with this color combination of this very peachy pink. It's a very um, salmon colored um, that is extremely, extremely reminiscent true hue of the pink sands of Bermuda because Bermuda is known for the beautiful pink sands. It's that beautiful pink white shell and so because it comes up and washes up shore you have all of those pieces mixed in with the sand and that's why the it just glistens the beautiful pink sands of Bermuda glisten and I think this captured it remarkably. This St. Bart's mini tote is hand woven and ethically and sustainably made with recycled and reclaimed neoprene polyester fabric. The founder was tired of seeing the wastefulness of seasonal fashion and handbags being discarded every few months because they were out of style. So she produced this timeless and durable collection that could be carried throughout the seasons. These bags are individually hand woven by skilled weavers that only produce one or two bags each day. And the fabric can easily be cleaned and cared for. So the bag is nice and carefree. Here you can see that it has these gunmetal D-rings on each side to attach the strap that is removable. The height is seven inches, the width is 14 inches, the depth is six inches, and the bag has a handle drop of three inches. So it's very nice and light, it's stretchy. On the inside of the bag, you can see that it has this very thin base to prevent any sagging once you add your items inside. There's so many color options that are out there. If you want solid colors, if you like these fun ombre colors, I think this is a really great um, bag that you can use just for fun, for vacationing, for the weekend, an everyday bag. They have the very wonderful um, tote sizes in a medium and a large. When I do want to get one in a medium size, I'm just waiting for one to go on sale because you will find these at like Saks and Bloomingdale's um, and Nordstrom's. But you know, Saks and Bloomingdale's, they always run like they're 20, 25% off and you'll be able to get um, them with that, you know, either our friends and family or when they run those discounts, keep an eye out for that for when they do mark them down because you'll be able to save some money rather than paying full price. I actually had to hunt this one down because this color was released apparently last year. And so I found this at an online retailer called a Flying Lizard. So I was actually able to save some money on this tote because they honored a military discount for me. The retail price on this bag was 235. So it is the St. Bart's mini tote in the Bermuda color, but it is just super, super cute. Here you can see the true hue of the handbag with the matching neoprene pouch and it has a little d-ring with the zipper pull with the logo on it and then inside you have a matching interior lining again with the logo i just have some hair accessories in here because of the heat and here you can see how it'll fit a lot more plus some with all of my lippies my new chanel coats mirror the hair accessories the hand lotion some gum and then the inside of the handbag can fit quite a bit because here is the pouch you'll have chanel 
Chanel accessories, my key pouch, card case, zipper on card case, my Chanel O case, my readers to see, my Lily Pulitzer pin, and then my new powder sunglass case to fit my new sunglasses, but it holds quite a bit. As you can see, it comes with this wonderful little adjustable um, strap with the exact same matching color as the very top portion of it. And it's in like a really nice gunmetal color. Just easily attaches to the handbag. And it's actually got a really, really good length to it. So, and you can easily just wear it as a crossbody. And it's really, really nice because of the fact that you have the nice wide strap here, very soft. And I think this sits really, really well, especially if you just wanna use it like over the shoulder, it definitely works out well, but it's going to have a really long um, drop length because of the length on here and it being adjustable. This is the absolute perfect color for me because of the fact that it's reminiscent of us when we travel to Bermuda. So it reminds me of that wonderful um, vacation that we had there on an island that is a really great destination, especially if you like a lot of natural wonder, Bermuda is it. It's a very expensive island um, to visit and to live on. Um, you know, Forbes rated it one of the very most expensive um, islands, but to vacation there, it's really, really pretty and just a lot of places um, to go and see and just a lot of you know beautiful natural wonder and the beaches of course are gorgeous but this is truly this color combination for this ombre bermuda print on this um saint bart snaggetti tote actually just truly captures the color of the water and the color of the sand perfectly so spot on nageti i love this tote because i can take it with me on our future vacations whether we cruise whether we fly somewhere it's a fun weekend bag it actually goes really really well with the dress i have on this is actually a rails um, nice little you know like kind of like a sundress and the colors just coordinate very very well with it and it matches perfectly and the fun thing about this handbag is that it actually matches my Hermes Oran sandals and these are in the rose pail. These are the ones that I picked up in Cancun um, when we went for my 50th birthday and I just thought that they actually went really, really well with my um, dress and with my little handbag here. So they actually, you know, complement one another really, really good. So I just, it was just fun wearing my little handbag and my dress and my little um, sandals here for um, this beautiful little weekend because it is hot we're over 100 degrees and it was just a perfect little combination so absolutely absolutely think you should consider checking these out especially if you want a little fun handbag like this you can take to the beach take to the pool take it as a work tote, carry your laptop. I will link Miss Leva's video down below where she actually did a lot of size comparisons for ones that she was considering. So she's got like a small, a mini, the medium. She actually did a really, really good um, video on. So if you are considering one and trying to determine what size um, to purchase, definitely check her video out because I think it will definitely help you as much as it helped me. So thank you for that, May. And since we are on the topic of this beautiful Nageti tote in this lovely Bermuda ombre color, I thought it would just be fun to share some of my most favorite souvenirs from that lovely island. My husband and I collect sand from the various islands that we go to because all of the sand is different. So here you can see I have Bermuda and I have Aruba and then the Bahamas. And it's just nice to see like the different shades because it just differs. And the Bermuda one has that beautiful pink because of the crushed shell. And it's just, it's so, so, so pretty. And I think this just, you know, it just reminds me of our lovely um, second um, wedding anniversary vacation there. We did stay there for 10 nights. So I actually flew in food with me because it is very, very expensive when you go grocery shopping. So just keep that in mind if you are staying there. Um, but we just had a really, really good time. I actually had some really fun souvenirs that I picked up. And on one of the nights, they almost had like a really nice carnival. Um, and this was in the summer when we went. And when we were there, they actually had a vendor that was called 
called Del Valle Sandals and they would actually make, they would hand make a sandal for you and they would measure your foot. You would choose the base, whether you wanted a flat, whether you wanted a heel. And I actually chose these really fun um, flats and I wanted them in a rose gold. So I'm gonna come up, they are worn. So you can see where I've um, worn them throughout the years because I bought these in 2018, but they actually have a tricolor of rose gold, um, silver and yellow gold and they've just been super super comfy because of the leather um, since it does rather mold to your foot as you can see but I just love the colors the leather is super super soft it was a nice heel I mix and match my jewelry metals so I just thought this was the perfect little sandal the next item that I have it's absolutely one of my favorites and I normally don't talk about fragrance here on this channel but if you would like to know more of the fragrances I use please let me know and I would love to do one because I do have my summer and my spring and my fall winter scents but this one I absolutely love this fragrance I found downtown when we were shopping around I always take one day to go and explore and shop wherever we go and I came across this lovely fragrance company called Lily Bermuda and this is called Sunkiss. I actually have the lotion and I purchased the fragrance. Best way for me to describe this fragrance is like a womanly orange creamsicle version. Just soft. You have the orange scent, you have a little bit of musk, you have you know some woody notes in there and you have um, like orange blossom and you have scents that are specific to the island of Bermuda, but it is soft, it is fresh, it has that subtle like sweetness, but I'm telling you, it's a womanly fragrance. It's not like synthetic, it's not childish, it is a mature, womanly, just a sun kiss. It's I think it's named appropriately because you have the scent of the orange and you just have that wonderful fragrance that you just want to snuggle into, you know, the neck of your loved one, that type of scent. And you have this cute little charm, that's what you hear, hitting the glass bottle. But it is absolutely my favorite for summer. And oh my God. And what I love is that I've had this bottle of um, lotion since 2018 and it has not gone rancid. I usually don't buy um, lotions that are the scent because for me, I find that it changes after maybe a year or two and I have not had that problem with this one. And with me layering the two, it, the scent just of course lasts longer. But a trick amigas, if you haven't already done it and a guy, a guy friend of mine, un hermano, a good brother of mine, um, actually is the one that taught me the trick is just get a regular unscented lotion and get your fragrance and just do a couple of spritzes in the lotion and then just mix it up and then put it on and that actually helps um, layer the fragrance and make it last a lot longer. So this way you don't have to worry about any type of lotions like turning rants or going bad. That's just a good way to save yourself some money and not having to spend, you know, an extra 40, 50 dollars, however much it is to buy the fragrance lotion. Um, so definitely try that trick out because it's worked for me. I will pop up a little image of the notes for this one for your top, your middle, and then your base notes. But it has the orange blossom. It's fruity. It's citrus. It has the that orange cream. It has like vanilla. And it has the slight musk. So that's why I say it's beautiful. It's womanly. It's sophisticated. It's a great light summer fresh clean scent. And I think you love I think you will love that. If you like those very light um, scents that have a little bit of a sweetness to them, I think this is perfect. So definitely consider checking out the line from Lily Bermuda, um, but especially the Sunkiss one if you love that nice um, notes of the orange blossom and a very beautiful soft womanly musk this is definitely a favorite and takes me back to the beautiful island of bermuda every time so lovely lovely memories that my husband and i have built on all of our travels 
thank you amigos i look forward to seeing you back here soon for um, other videos i do have some other ones planned so stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and as always to our veterans and our servicemen and women serving and defending our country around the world from my military home to yours thank you so much for your service hasta la próxima amigos until next time adios